episode to continue where I left off, I did it because my sister was being really annoying. She wouldn't shut up. So uh, what I was saying is I ordered a thing that goes on my scope right here. That will It's kind of like a scope ring, but it has two Picatinny uh, rail mounts like here. There will be one right here, right here. So I can uh, put my flashlight on one and the laser on the other. And yeah. uh, once I get the threaded barrel adapter off, I'll show you a few other pretty cool things about this gun. Uh, this gun is very, very sturdy. The safety is right here. You can see that. Oh, and uh, this, when you pull it back, it does not have like an opening. It's just one big metal tube. So there's no opening like you uh this will just stay like this but it will go back so yeah uh a swing mount uh there's not a front swing mount but you can use the hole in the bipod right uh right there look you can see my eye through it right there and the rear swing mount is right here uh very high quality both made out of steel internals. Internals are what's inside the gun. Um, the spring guy is plastic. That is what um, holds the spring. It goes through the end of the spring so it uh, kind of the spring stays in place. The um, piston or the cylinder, uh, the piston is plastic but it's pretty high quality. Um, wait, I don't know. Uh, I think I'm I getting it confused. The piston or the something is plastic. One of the piston, I think. Don't quote me on that because I'm not sure. Um, hop up. I haven't really used it because this gun shoots far enough. I can hit a target the size of a human body at 300 feet. So I have my hop up all the way off. Let me find one oh, right there. Uh, so all the way forward is uh, not like just no hop up at all. And all the way back would be uh, like popping up like right now. Kind of barrel, but you only need that with like 40 gram BBs if you're shooting like 300 feet or so. I use 20 grams. Uh, I need to get some like 30 something grams, but I don't have the money right now because I just spent it on a bunch of accessories for this gun. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's base. Oh, if you want to know, uh, the lower receiver or the this this part, it's made of a uh, very nice polymer, except. It accepts uh, paint very, very well. Uh, so, like spray painting it, it'll look awesome. Um, I think that's about it. Comment if you have any questions, and I'll try to get back to you uh, as soon as I can. Um, so, yeah. I think that's. Oh, the speed loader that comes with it, it's, it's really good too. Um, oh, and one more thing. A lot of people have misfitting issues, so when you ha you have to have this tightened extremely tight. So the mag is right here. If you wanna, okay, okay, yeah, I got it right. If you wanna, okay, whoa, it's not going in very well right now. Okay, let me try the other mag. Maybe it's just because I'm at a weird angle. Yeah, let me try it. Like I would normally put it on all the battlefield. Uh, oh god, I was putting it in backwards. <laughs> Oops, okay. Okay. See, it's not in yet. You want to do that click. A lot of people just put it in so it's like that, but no, you have to do the click like this. Yes, now it will never misbeat. I guarantee you, if this, if the barrel is put on correctly with the Low receiver, it will never misfeed. I can guarantee that. If it does misfeed, then there's something obviously wrong with your magazine, or where the BB goes into the um, the chamber. A uh, very nice grip. I don't know if this would be considered a pistol grip, but it's very nice. It's a pretty heavy gun. I'd say about five, six pounds max. So, yeah. Uh, it has no rails except uh, the one that comes with it on top. I um, suggest getting one of the CNC uh, rails 
probably the long rail, but right now it's sold out on uh, Airsoft GI. So yeah, thank you for watching. I will be I will be doing a shooting test uh, when I get my uh, accessories that I bought for it with the high profile scope rings and everything else on it. So thank you. Bye.